You don't need to be looking at this kind of shit. I don't need a repeat of Yatesville. You understand me? Principal Ramey will be seeing you now. Uh, hello? <clears throat> um, hello there, Mr. Uh, Peters. How are you doing? I am good. Well, that's just good. I'm your principal, uh, Principal Ramey. Okay, Andrew, we're about halfway through first period and your first class is with Mr. Connors. Do you have any questions? All righty then. Hello there, Mr. Connors. This is our newest student, Andrew, and he's looking to have a killer time here at Ashbury High. Very well then, Ramey. Anything else? Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll be on my way. Please take a seat. Everyone, please find a partner and read your class connection questions. Andrew, is it? Yeah, no, that is me. Well, it's um, nice to meet you, Andrew. I'm Olivia. So, what is your full name? Olivia Marie Stacy. You? Uh, Andrew Ben Peters. Nice. Okay, so, um, who's your hero? Uh, my mom. You know, she's the best. Yeah. You know. What about you? Um, probably my dad. Mm. So. Why'd you move here? Is that one on here? Or? No, I'm just curious. Oh, it's whatever. Now everyone, before we switch partners, we will be having a snack since it is Miss Stacy's birthday. Thanks. Hey. Hey, happy birthday. Uh, are there peanuts? <laughs> All right. <laughs>
What do you think? I said, what do you think? How's it look? Yeah, it's uh, fine, I guess. Is that dinner? Or... Yeah, yeah, this is what's for dinner. And you want to know why? What's going on? What's this about? Well, this is about your little, uh... You know what? What do you say we go over Daddy's expense book for the past month? First, I had to get you a damn therapist because your mother insisted upon it. Then, I had to pay for the school's EpiPen today, which cost me $300! Not to mention that we had to move towns because you're too much of a pussy to stick up for yourself. You know what that adds up to, huh? <laughs> oh, wait, you wouldn't, because apparently you haven't been thinking too hard lately. You know what? Your mom wasn't much of a thinker either. Shut She's up! Don't you dare talk about mom like that. I wouldn't say that I saved your life. I guarantee I would have died if I didn't get the nurse. Allergic reactions are very serious. Well, I mean, you could always die, though. You could die right now. Would you want the world to end? Not love me. Did I say something wrong? No, no, I was just uh, thinking about how lame Mr. Connor's class is. It's pretty lame. <laughs> All right, is everyone done with their placement tests? Good. Monday will be our first day of actual learning. Everyone, make sure you have your class rules and syllabus signed and turned in by Monday. <laughs> class is dismissed. Oh, and Mr. Peters, may I have a word? Of course. Mr. Carter, really, uh, I am okay. Oh, you think this is about your well-being? Adorable as that is, not quite. This is about your little episode Wednesday. You see, Mr. Peters, I have been teaching at this school for over 25 years, and I have never had a single complaint but that quickly changed when your father made a call to the school in an attempt to pour your wrong doings onto me. I'm sorry. I'm not done. Here's my idea. You think a little harder before you act, and I will continue to teach and perform as I always do. I can, I can do that. All right, great. Now get the hell out of my face. And that was number six. Andrew. Andrew. What did you get for number seven? Clavicle. Clavicle. This is dramatics. Please pay attention, Mr. Peters. Everyone have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Hey, you're Liz Fun, right? Uh, yeah, that's me. Come to the party tonight? Uh, I guess. Cool, guess I'll see you there. All right. What's your deal, bro? What? I said, what's your deal? Why are you talking to my girl and shit? Why are you talking to me and shit? Whoa, just, just messing with you, bud. Besides, you're not a threat anyways. Well, I, I guess I'll see you around. Whoa, watch where you're going there, bud. Andrew, get in. I can walk, it's cool. I insist, they always say not to walk home alone. What's the address, bro? Oh, uh, 634 Car Avenue. Okay, Andrew, this is Tony, my boyfriend, and this is his best friend, Parker. Okay. So, Andrew, are you excited for the party? 
Uh, what party? What party? Claire invited you? Well, she mentioned it, so you know about the party. Nope, I'm just saying it wasn't a game. So you're lying. No, she, she just... Told Parker, me. lay off, bro. We're throwing a party at my house for Liz's birthday. You're inviting him. No, Parker, you know, we're just giving him all the details just to not invite him. Yeah, and Liz's parents are too high-class to have it at her place. We just need more people to invite. What if we invited some of the guys from Yatesville? Well, Andrew, isn't that where you used to go? Um, yeah. You used to go to Yatesville? Do you know Miles? Uh, Miles? Yeah, Miles. How do you not know Miles? Actually, no. That kind of makes sense. You're kind of a loser. Parker, what's your problem? Would you just... Hey, Tony, the boys from Yatesville just put up. No, you're not gonna believe it. This guy's from Yatesville, and he doesn't even know who Miles is. Come on, Andy, we'll, we'll introduce you. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm gonna have to go. I'm not really feeling good. From what, you're seven up? Um, the door works too, you know. So, what do you think you're doing? Uh... Looking at stars, beautiful night, like meteor showers. What, you don't want to catch up with your buddies from Yatesville? My mom tried again and again to get him expelled, but the principal was not having it. Uh, so instead, she insisted upon a restraining order and moving me to a different school. That, that's terrible. Your mom sounds really great, though. I'd love to meet her. Yeah, she's awesome. Wait, did I do what I did earlier? No. Andrew, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- That's just, okay. Did I say something wrong? My mom's dead. Andrew. I'm so sorry. Come on. What the hell? Tony! What the hell happened to you? Hey, are you deaf? Where the hell were you? You don't just get to come and go as you please. Walk out of my house after curfew, like some big tough guy breaking the rules. <laughs> if it wasn't for someone else beating your ass, I'd be all over it. Don't you look at your dad like that, you disrespectful son of a bitch. Dad! You aren't. A dad to me. You are a piece of shit bully who cares about no one but himself. The only parent I had is mom. It's a shame you feel that way. Because you know what, buddy? Your mom is dead. And she's never coming back. I wish it was you. Get out of my face.
Yo everyone, hide your girl, the rapist is coming through. Hey Peters, look over here again, you'll end up like your mom. Hey Peters, you didn't belong in Yanksville, you don't belong here, you freak! Andrew, I'm sorry to say that due to the volume of your misbehavior recently, you will be put on trial in front of the Ashbury Public School Board with reason to expel. I'm sorry, Andrew. Your behavior these past few months has just been out of hand. You've been in and out of my office on a weekly basis. It's what has to be done. You are not permitted to enter the school until tomorrow morning. Your hearing will be at 9.15. Andrew, you're a good kid. You just need some guidance. There he is, man in the house. Now I know what you're thinking. What am I doing home so early? Well, you see, I had to come home early from work today because apparently someone's getting kicked out of school. Now the big question is, how are you so much of a little bitch to take any responsibility around here, but you can go around the school starting fights? Oh look, there he goes. Something bad happens and Andy's nowhere to be found. Every day I wake up, I'm in pain. Ever since the second year of my marriage, the abuse has taken a toll on me. I can't bear to keep living. My life is a never-ending cycle of emotional and physical turmoil that makes me shiver at just the thought. Every night, I lie in bed weeping at the utter dissatisfaction I experience on a daily basis. Andrew, my baby, you are the one thing in this world that keeps me going. But unfortunately, I feel my despondency is causing you more pain than I can justify. This world is a dark place, and my presence is only making it darker. He's looking to have a killer time here at Ashbury High.
Tragedy strikes Ashbury High School today as a shooter opened fire, killing four, including himself, and injuring 17 others. We will update you all as more details come in. Hello? Andrew, are you okay?
I've been working on this film for roughly a year now. I would say I was inspired by all the uh, shootings that were happening last year around this time. Uh, I was just curious to know what the psychology of someone that goes through something like that is and how far they can really push their limits. My name is Dylan Counts and I am the cinematographer on A Simple as Hello. I have always had a passion for film. So when Carson started working on As Simple as Hello, uh, it was just natural for me to move towards cinematography. So I think the best part about working on As Simple as Hello is working with a group of people that have the same mindset as you, working towards the same goal. I think the biggest thing that I've learned is how to work creatively with someone, how to share creative ideas. Um, Carson is definitely the visionary for this film, uh, but sometimes I disagree with what he's moving towards for a shot, so I'm able to just kind of work with him, and I've learned more now how to communicate my ideas with him in order to get the best shot possible. This is my this is my talent, Brian. Great guy. I love, love the man. This guy. Love this guy. Bromance right bro here. Bromance right, right here. All day. Oh, all day. Most of the He's time. He's my bro chacho. Bro chacho. He's my bro tato chacho. Oh, I was gonna say that one. He beat me to it. <laughs> this guy. Carson, I you know, I met him a couple years ago and I just I think he's a brilliant mind. I think he's got great things going. I like the script, I like the way it read. Um, but the, the greatest part of this experience is watching these kids work like millions and millions of busy fire ants just getting the stuff done and, and doing what they have to do. So again, the, the school, Ashland High School, and the parents of these young kids should be extremely, extremely proud. I go to a performing arts school and one of the teachers told us about it. She's like, hey, why don't you go try out for the film? So that's how I got involved in it. Best part of this experience is uh, probably just getting to know the cast better. Most thing that I'm excited about is uh, probably just we've put in a lot of hard work we're putting in a lot of hard work today so once the film's finally done uh, we get to see all that hard work pay off always shoot a fight scene last <laughs> that's the big one all right three two one go hey peters look over here again you'll end up like your mom let's go homie Wow. Is there first aid anywhere? Yeah, over there. It's broken, dude. Wait, let me see. It's a hard rock life for us. Instead of treated, we so get kicked. How did this happen? Oh, sorry, my bad. The show must go on! <laughs> I'm Melanie Calabrese and I'm the on-set photographer. I thought um, it would be cool to be on set one more time before I graduate. All the relationships and fun times we have on set is really cool because it's just a lot of people that are on set and all together and working together and I just think that's a fun experience. I've learned a lot. I don't think I've ever had uh, an experience where I've had so much concentrated learning. I think I've also grown a lot as a person and a leader. There's a lot of things you learn on and offset um, on a daily basis. Working with these actors, they're all uh, learning as well as me. I think we uh, coincide well. My main goal has been make a great movie. Uh, I love movies, so I just want I just really want to create something that's good. Also impacting people's lives in a positive way. I got involved with the film because one day I was doing some hacker in my computer corner. Then he came up to me and asked me if I wanted to be a producer. Then I said, yeah. And then I found out he had a good work ethic. And I just 
started working with them like every single day for hours. I'm Daisy McFrederick and I'm doing makeup. I'm Leah Bracy and I wrote the music for the film. I'm Jaden Mitchell. I'm the clapperboard guy. I'm Jack Vance and I move equipment. Um, I think this film should be seen because it gives a really good message and there's a lot of kids who are going through similar situations and it'll kind of show them that there's light at the end of the tunnel and that there's better ways to handle these bad things that they're going through. Anytime that, um, you know, young people put as much time and effort into something like creative, I just think it should be seen by the community. Carson Kennedy came to me in May of 2018 with an idea for a film, uh, presented it to me. I thought it was a great idea. We started working on conceptualizing it, changing some of those ideas. Carson is uh, an intense young man who um, doesn't stop no matter what. Without that kind of sense of purpose, a film like this is difficult to get off the ground and get finished. Carson has that drive. It's something that will serve him well in his professional career. Um, and that's what it takes to get a project like this done. Simple as Hello was designed to be a film that would touch a student audience. Bullying is a problem that constantly rears its ugly head. So we were hoping in the release of this film that someone would understand that one person can make a difference. That's the whole concept behind the movie, as simple as Hello. It is really that simple. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>